I see someone is getting really ready for this oh, date. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. 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 Don't worry, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Guess. Clara, you know I'm not good at guessing. Yes, you just guess. It won't hurt you. Okay. okay. Hold on. Wow. Ah. This is so beautiful. Hello. Ah. This is so beautiful. I, I know. Why are you mm, putting this on my body? Because it's yours. I got it for you. What? Beverly. This is your first date, right? Mm -hmm. And ever since you got this job, it's been from one family issue to another. You haven't even had time for yourself. And when you talked about this date, I was like, ah, my girl needs to sleep. She needs to look good. So I got you this dress. So you can sleep to your date. Thank you so much, Claire. You're welcome. Oh, this is so thoughtful of you. This must have really cost you a fortune. Mm, yeah. But nothing is too much for you. You deserve this. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, God. Clara. Yeah? What would I have done without you in my corner? I met you coincidentally in the university when I was about dropping out because I couldn't pay my fees. You came to my rescue. You've been there. Even till NYC. And even now, you're still here in my corner. Girl, I'm really grateful. Sometimes I wish there's a way I can pay you for all the things you've been doing for me. Thank you so much. It's okay. You don't have to be this emotional. Okay. Okay, just come out of it. Just what we need to do now is you. Okay. Okay, girl, just enough, enough of this. Thank you. Yes. You being emotional. Okay, the thing is, you have to get off this mm -hmm. and get into this dress because mm -hmm. I want you to slay, you know? Just um, like I'm going to look like a queen. Of course, you are a queen. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're thank welcome. you so much. Stop saying thank you. <laughs> have fun. Make sure you have fun. Thank please. you. Huh? This is so beautiful. Hmm. And the color suits so well. Okay. Mm. Queen Elizabeth got nothing on me. Not me. <laughs> okay.
down. <laughs> you look really excited. Come and sit down and just me. <laughs> Oh gosh. Stop talking, please. Just tell me now. Is there cold water? Because I need to change. There's no cold water. I mean, it's, it's just just to be fair. Wait now. Uh, it seems like this is a online dating app. Oh, thank God. I feel like he's nice, oh. Nice? Yeah, like he treated you well because I don't understand this your glow. Well, that guy is actually very useless. Do you know this guy told me he forgot about that date? Yes, the frustrating thing here is even that he fixed the date and you're telling me that you forgot. How? Wait, are you for real? <laughs> this is a joke. You Try. can't be serious. I'm serious. Girl, but you know as they say, some disappointments give way for a blessing. He actually fixed a date for me to meet my Mr. Perfect Match. Hmm. Girl. If you see this guy next today, just me. Hey, just me. Okay, so fine. This guy. And the thing is that the perfume that was oozing out from this guy's body, he seems to be very rich. Oh, yeah. very, oh, this is nice. Very, it's beautiful. And as you're seeing me like this, eh, I am so giving that guy a chance. When I mean a chance, a very fat chance. Definitely. What? Now, now. That mm. you just met him. Uh -huh. You're already giving him a chance. Girl. How? Girl, if it's you that met this man, now self, you, all this English just speaking, you'll be on top of his bed. It's hey. self-control, though. This guy was it's, really be cute. Are you too? The guy is too fine. If you point all the pointed nose in this world, you know, if you see his lip, <laughs> very small. <laughs> ah. Wait, 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 wait. Do you have a picture? Because I need to see this guy that's making you this happy. See, yeah. He's just home training that stops me to go. If not, you want to follow him? Ah. <laughs> His home training. Heavily. Home training that stops it. Let me show you now. Hold on, guys. This is the Look at, look at, look at on body. So you can lose. See his eyes, see his lips. So small. Girl, I've imagined all kind of rubbish with this guy. See this? So fine. This guy. Yeah. Is this the guy? Yes. This person. That guy destroyed my life. He turned my life upside down. He promised me marriage and, and after several abortions for him. and traveled abroad. Six years ago. After everything I did for him. And now he's back to the country. He has met my friend and, and probably he has plans for you. Tara, I didn't mean to rekindle your past heart. Um, I'll just have to block his line and forget everything about him. I know. You've always wished that you could pay me back for, for everything I've done for you. Yeah? Yes. This is the time. This is the time for payback. This is the time to reciprocate the love I have shown you all these years. You are a computer scientist. I want you to use your skill to get me more than double of everything he took from me. What would you want me to do? I want you to lead him on. Everything. 
everything he has. Everything you see on him belongs to me. My hard earned money. I sold my body to different men on the streets of Port Harcourt. Just to make him happy. I invested in his life. I gave him everything. He left me. He traveled abroad and forgot about me. Now he's back. He's back to the country and he wants you. He has plans for you. I am sure that his plan is just to sleep with you and dump you. <sighs> but I won't let that happen. I will not let that happen. Bethany, this is the time. This is the time to reciprocate all the love that I have shown you these years. You are a computer scientist. I want you to use your skills and get me back double of everything he took from me. I want you to pull him down. Beverly, I'll do it. Do what? Help you get everything back. For real? Yeah. <sighs> thank you. You don't have to thank me. I mean, it's not enough to pay for everything you've done for me. I still have to thank you. Thank you for agreeing to do this for me. It means the world to me. You are welcome to my small space. Well, your small space is actually very nice. Yeah, thank you. I know it. Mm -hmm. Food is ready. Food? Mm -hmm. You cooked? Yeah, I cooked something special for my special lady. <laughs> okay, that's really nice. Wait till you taste it. Okay. That's right. <laughs> So, how was it? I hope I didn't overhype myself. Well, I think you actually underhyped yourself. Ah. Uh, yes, the food was really delicious. Oof. I mean, oof. there are very few guys that your cookies can. Uh, I'm feeling too proud. Come on, no, no, say, say it louder, please. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, a good cook. Oh. 
Thank you. <laughs> Thank You're welcome. You. Um, do you want more? I could, I could get you some more if you're still hungry. No, I'm fine. Are you sure? Don't be shy. I can pack some for you. I said I'm good. Don't be shy. <laughs> Uh, Thank you. Chef D. I'm sorry. I have to take this. Hello? What? Okay, 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 okay. Um, um I'm on my way. Bev. Okay. Bev, what's going you see, on? You see me now, I'm on my way. Bev! Still calling, he's going to be very worried. That's the whole point. Let him be worried. Hi, babe. Hey, what's going on? You left my house in a hurry. Uh, are you okay? I've been calling you, but you've not been taking my calls. I'm, I'm so sorry. I had to rush out like that. What happened? It's, it's a family issue. What about your family? My mom had an accident two years ago, so sometimes the pain just comes and the doctor said um, we need to go for it for surgery and also prescribe the particular treatment and tests. But because there's no money, we've not been able to keep up with it. There's a particular drug that helps subside the pain. So it just started disturbing her again. That's why I had to rush. I'm so sorry about that. She must be going through a lot. Yes. And yeah, she is. It's, the pain is just so much. All right, take it easy. Okay, what is the doctor saying, and how much is it going to cost? For for the, for the surgery, the doctor said it will cost five million, and then. The drug that will just help subside the pain. He said the drug will cost them. Um, will cost. Two. The drug is going to cost two hundred thousand. Yeah, that's what he said, and I only have thirty thousand left. I only have thirty thousand with me. You know what? Send me your account details. I'll transfer 200k to you so you can go ahead with the medication. Oh, baby. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll send the account details right to me. I love you, baby. Thank you. It's all right. Okay? Yeah! Ah! Wait, wait. Uh, have you ended the call? I told you this will work. I told you. So this is how it works. Yes, now. It was ah. so easy. Very easy. If you had told him 300, 500, 600, he would have given to you. After all, it's my money. I told you. Wow. Let me just hurry and listen. Yes, send, 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 send before you forget it. Okay.
How's your mom now? Oh, she's getting better. Everything is fine, I mean. Oh. Yeah. The medication is very much okay for her. And now we're just keeping her hopes alive so we can raise money for the surgery. Yeah, about her surgery. You said it will cost five million? Yes. And what if I make arrangements for that to happen? Babe, are you serious? You do that? Yes, I would. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm really lucky. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Man. Yeah. Let's just make sure that your mom gets back on her feet. Sure, she sure, will. All right. Be right back. I want to check something upstairs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Baby? Yeah? <laughs> you alright? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> is everything okay? Mm -hmm. Everything is fine now that I'm here with you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you like something to eat? No. I ate before coming out. Oh. Don't worry, I'm fine and I need to.
How fun. How is it going? Well, so far so good. I've been able to hack his email. Right now, I'm currently monitoring a conversation between him and a client. When payment is ready, when payment is ready, I'll divert it to us. And that will be it. The thing is, I think it's time to teach this man that they can't just mess with women and walk away. Hey! Bust my brain! Who the? Who the Zuzu? Who the Zuzu? Is your friend a woman in tech? Hey! Give me a high five. Give me a high five, woman in tech. My IT guru. <laughs> Babe, you're busting my brain. Who the? Give me a high five. Give me a high five. Give me a woman in tech. Yeah, yeah. You are a wise girl. You smart guy. Jesus, they kill me now. Yeah, I guess so, so. babe. Yeah. Milk him, okay? Milk him as much as you can. Take everything that you can take from him. Listen, he deserves everything he's getting. He deserves even worse. I got you, okay? I know. What is love when it's not in your control? Where is love? I don't get it. I don't know why I got it wrong. What's the problem? You sounded so broken at the phone. I think I was a victim of internet fraud. I lost some money in a recent transaction. And the worst part is, I wanted to use that money for your mother's surgery. Oh my goodness. I mean, why are people this wicked? Uh, who would have carried out such an evil act? It was a wiretap fraud. But it's all good. I'm over it now. The most important thing is your mother's surgery. A health is priority. I've informed my staff to be more careful and possibly find out how this happened so it doesn't repeat itself next time. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's fine. Don't worry. Your mom will be fine, okay? I'm just glad it wasn't my life savings. Tell me what happened. Today was a wonderful day. He gave me five million naira on top of the one we already collected. It's a lie! I'm sorry! Hey, babe, we saw a hammer! Like, eh? I was shocked. But, but what? He said he would like to visit my mom after the surgery. Visit your mom? Mm -hmm. Why? Hmm. Won't he suspect you? Suspect? Yes. Well, I I don't think there's anything to suspect. I mean, it's not like I'm lying about my mom having surgery. We know she needs it. The only thing here is that the bill is supposed to be 1.3 and I said 5 million. That's the only thing here. See you, eh? See you! You guess says die! <laughs> wait, wait. Oh my... Oh. Wait. Yeah. Hold up. Are you sure? Mm. Are you sure this 
won't be traced back to you. Traced back to me? Yes. No, that's not possible. I know he said something about um, telling his workers to look into it and trace where it's coming from, but this girl here knew exactly what she did, okay? Hey! I'm this girl. Hey! Oh, what this calls for celebration? We are always celebrating! Wait! Wait! What do you mean by all my celebration? I'm catching me first. Not that easy. Hey! I got my trans covered properly. This is just that. I don't like using my skills for things like this, but this time he deserves it. Mm -hmm. You see why I love you? you see, this thing calls for celebration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to celebrate. We need to. We don't have mama, you girl. You. We don't have ma. Anybody I'm catching? Coming. I'm coming. Just wait. Nobody's got. They will see me coming at all. Need to. Ow. Beverly. Are you doing the right thing? Is Danny as bad as Clara paints him to be? Babe? Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Do you remember that my friend that we helped pick a car for his wife, Bert? Oh, yeah. I do. She has gotten the car. Does she like it? Yeah. Let's find out if she likes it. Are they here? No. But this is here. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> this is the car. That's for you. Babe, <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> it is true. The car's been for you the whole time when we're making the selection. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Wait! Hold on, hold on. <laughs> what is love when it's not in your control? Where is love when you're feeling all alone? What is love when it's not in your control? Bev, I've known you for just a short period of time, but it feels like I've known you forever. You make me so happy. And I want the happiness in my life for a long time. Please, make me the happiest man on earth and be my wife. Yes. Yeah. What is love when it's not in your control? Where is love when you're feeling all alone? What is love? It's not in your control Where is love When you're feeling all alone What is love When it's not in your control Where is love When you're feeling all alone
What's going on? Are you okay? Why are you up? <sighs> it's just so unbelievable. I can't believe that right now. I have my own car. And I'll soon be getting married. I don't know how I'm this low key. You deserve all the good things in life. Hmm? Don't be so hard on yourself. to his personal account. Clara, yeah. is this the right thing to do? <laughs> what do you mean by is, is this the right thing to do? What do you mean by that? I don't know, I just have this feeling that the guy we're dealing with is different from who you described to me. See, see, listen to me, okay? I do not understand what you're talking about. I, I, I don't even care. Right now, I don't care. But I know one thing. If you are planning anything that will ruin this plan of ours, my dear, you better have a rethink. You better have a rethink because I will not take it lightly with you. I'm not planning anything. You lie. Beverly, you are a bloody liar. If you weren't planning anything, why didn't you tell me when he proposed to you? Oh, are you shocked? Why didn't you also tell me that he bought you a car? Because I've got my eyes on you. Yeah. I've got my eyes on you. And I know you too well, Beth. I know how emotional you can be with things like this. I also remember how you behaved the first time you saw him. I knew it was love at first sight. So I kept a close tab on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So do not even try to give me this this innocent love romantic game. Do not even try it with me. Because if you do, Beth, I will expose you. Then the both of us will lose. So if you know whatever thing you have for this guy, whatever feeling you have for him, you better get rid of it. Clara. You want to blackmail me? I am not blackmailing you. However, you can call it whatever it is you want to call it. Beverly, this is my time to revenge. And I swear to God, whatever it is that gets in my way, I will crush it and damn the consequences. Not even this, your little, stupid, useless love story can stop. So if I ever, if I have ever mean anything to you, Beverly, if you appreciate and value 
all the things that I have done for you in this life. You better sacrifice whatever feeling you have for that guy and stick to the plan. Clara, I didn't mean to betray you. Neither do I mean to sound ungrateful. They need he has He helped me, my mother's surgery bill. He bought me a car. He got me engaged. And he has been helping out with one or two things. Without asking for anything in return. I feel that says a lot about him. Please, I'm ready to give you everything, the car, the money, all of it. 
Please, just let our love prevail. Claire, I know he loves me genuinely. And truth is, my conscience won't let me hurt him further. <laughs> Do you know that you are very wicked? Beverly, you are a wicked person. So if I leave you now, you will fall in love and maybe marry a man that shattered my life. The same man that destroyed me and took everything from me. A man that I loved. My man. But I won't let you do that. I won't. I know that you have all the personal data needed to hack his account. But for some selfish reason, you have decided not to. But I have something to tell you. Beverly, you do not want to see the other side of me. You really do not want to see that. What are you going to do? Love a girl. Kindly bear it in mind that you have just 24 hours. 24 freaking hours to get that shit done. Else you will fully understand that hell holds no fury than a woman's God. I have something to tell you. The lady I'm living with is your ex, Clara. Um, she said that when you people were in Port Harcourt, that she invested a lot into you. She said that she said that she, she even had to do prostitution just so everything could be fine with you. And everything she did was for the hopes of the marriage you promised her. And then all of a sudden, you woke up one day and disappeared with all the money she made in the one year that you two dated. Now, owing to the fact that she has really helped me, she begged me to get back at you for her. And I had to. The, yes, my mother was sick, but I lied about the actual amount. It was 1.3, not 5 million. And then she begged me I hacked into your email and diverted the funds you were talking about the other time. Now she's asking me to empty your account. But I know you love me so much. And I do love you too. 
I can't do it. Please. I know she's going to come to tell you all of this. But I want you to find a place in your heart. Please forgive me. Babe. I see you've met my twin, Dave. I actually kept everything about him away from you because I want it to be a surprise. I want him to meet the love of my life in person. Babe, are you okay? was very wrong and I didn't mean to leave you okay but when we were dating an opportunity came for me to travel out of the country a golden opportunity I knew you were not going to be happy with it and you were probably going to collect all your money that I had in my possession so I left and remained incommunicado. But two years ago, I came back and I started looking for you. I was looking for you everywhere and you know that when we were dating, during the one year period we were dating, I didn't meet any of your family members. So I couldn't reach you. The only person I met is your best friend, Tina. Okay, you met Tina and you couldn't get to me through Tina. Yeah, I know that Tina and I haven't been talking for two years now. But I also know that she has my number. I couldn't reach you through Tina because she told me that you were dead. You mean Tina told you that I am dead? Yes. And I have our WhatsApp messages as proof. She sent me your obituary poster. Yes. Why? God. So Tina could go this extreme? After everything she did to me, the strained our relationship, she could do this. Well, I guess she wants me to herself. Clara, when I saw that obituary poster, I just had to stop the search. That's the only reason I stopped.
Another reason I'm here is because my twin brother, Danny, wanted to introduce me to his fiance, which also happens to be a friend. She, she thought I was Danny and she confessed everything to me. She told me what the two of you have done to him. So, what do you want now? I've never seen my brother this happy in a long time. And I don't want anything that is going to ruin that happiness. So, I'm going to ask that this secret remain between the three of us. Cora, nothing in this world, not even distance, can stop the way I feel about you. Okay, sitting here right now, looking into your eyes, just reminds me how much I'm in love with you. Okay, I shouldn't have left. I'm sorry. Please, just give us one more chance. Okay, just one more chance. Yes, I have been carrying this burden on my shoulders. And it has been weighing me down. You know, sometimes seeing things from other people's perspective is all it takes to have a rethink. And like they say, unforgiveness is like drinking poison and expecting someone else to die. True. However, I am glad. I am so glad that we can still make amends. Bev, yeah. you are a true friend. You've been the best I have ever had. Thank you so much. And I am so, so, so sorry. Honestly, I am I'm sorry that I almost ruined your happiness. It's okay. I went too far, yeah. I, know. I mean, you were just being human. Please, Please forgive me. There's nothing to forgive. I'm just happy you were able to make amends. That's the most important thing. Yeah. Hmm? But about what Dave said, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. What do you want me to do? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. You know that I I loved this guy. I, oh, you loved and him? No, 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 oh. no. Like, I love him. Oh, okay. I love him. And yeah. <sighs> because the whole hug and... Yeah, yeah I know. Mm -hmm. I love him. And Honestly, I want to spend the rest of my life with him, huh? like forever and ever and ever, just me, him, together. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet, it's so beautiful. I know. I know. And then what? What? 
What do you mean by what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sisters in, in love! <laughs> God, mm -hmm. you don't even think about it. But there's something I'm going to do. Yeah. I'm going to make sure I give him a mark. Because uh, I don't want to make any kind of mistake. I see. Yeah, I'll just use maybe like a blue. Babe, hold on, let me shave you. Let me shape I, your brows for you. <laughs> and I'll just give him a cut. I see. Cause... Okay, so me, I'll, I'll give Davey a mark on his lips because I do not want anyone kissing those lips. Uh, mm -mm. Mm. I can't share. Nah. No. F okay, no, face is the best for him because what if. You want to destroy his face? No. Okay, so you just want to put a mark. So, but what no if Hamadan comes and then Danny gets the same cut? There's a problem, so that's why I'll go for the face. <laughs> You're crazy. You well, are crazy. I'm I'm crazy. Yes, I'm crazy. I'm serious. Well, I'm so happy. Babe, mm -hmm. I have a confession. Confession? Yeah. A while ago, I hacked your business website, your phones, laptops, emails, and what have you. What? Yes. And that's clearly because I think the tech experts you have now is not efficient. Also, I believe the hack that led to the glitch that cost you money could have been prevented if you had a capable hand in your team. Okay, hold on. Are you making a pitch right now? I consider it an unsolicited one. But I know you can foot my bills. Plus, other incentives. And I'll be more than willing to bring my vast knowledge and experience in tech to serve your company better. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. More man in tech. <laughs> but then... One more thing. All payments must be made in dollars. Do I have a deal? Madam Haka? Yes. <laughs> we have a deal. Okay. Thank you, baby. <laughs> you really hacked into my... Of course, I can't even hack into your brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was a good one. That was a good <laughs> one. <laughs> of course, I'm serious. What is love when it's not in your control? Where is love when you're feeling all alone? What is love? It's not in your control Where is love When you're feeling all alone What is love When it's not in your control